As with all of our museum videos, the script that we use is the plaques that the museum has on the walls and other places. We do not add nor do we take away from the wording of these plaques. All of these videos are made for education and entertainment purposes only. We are Kentucky, Tennessee Living and we are here at the West Tennessee Delta Heritage Center visiting the Hatchie River Museum. We wish to thank everyone at the center for their wonderful, helpful, and well-informed staff members. We truly enjoyed our visit there. A quote on the Hatchie River Museum wall. Quote, in the end, our society will be defined not only by what we create, but what we refuse to destroy, unquote, by Diane Demalski and J.P. Myers. Early West Tennessee Inhabitants For at least 10,000 years, the Hatchie River provided area Native American tribes with wild fish, game, plants, nuts, and fertile soils for growing crops. The most recent indigenous population to use the river were the Chickasaw people. The word Hatchie means river in the Chickasaw language which attests to the reverence they placed on this river over others. From their villages in North Mississippi, Chickasaw hunting parties traveled to the western third of Tennessee. Returning hunters could load elk, bison, and other wild game into dugout canoes and paddle their heavy cargo back to their villages. These artifacts show examples of stone tools used in the Hatchie River region during the early archaic period by the indigenous populations who once occupied this area. Nutting Stone, Hatchie River Region, Tennessee, Early Archaic Period, CA 8000 BC. Nutting stones were used with a wooden or stone hammer to crack open nuts. The harvested nuts or fruits of forest trees and shrubs is called mast. Hammer Stone, Hatchie River Region, Tennessee, Early Archaic Period, CA 8000 BC. Hammer stones were used on smaller stones to create sharp edges. This technology would provide a variety of weapons such as hand axe, spearhead, or arrowhead depending upon the size of the stone being hammered. Hand Axe Hatchie River Region, Tennessee, Early Archaic Period, CA 8000 BC This hand axe is made from a rock called a flint, which is a variety of chert that can be chipped away to make a sharp edge. This type of stone tool was created by hammer stones, which were carefully used to craft this early stone tool. Eva Projectile Point, Hatchie River Region, Tennessee, Early Archaic Period, CA 8000 BC. Eva Projectile Points are most commonly found in western half of Tennessee in the Tennessee River Valley. They were used for hunting larger games such as white-tailed deer. Turkey Box Call on crisp spring mornings, hunters pursue wary wild turkeys. Using a variety of crafted calls to mimic the clucks, yelps, and purrs of hen turkeys, 
Hunters attempt to lure the male turkey, the gobbler, into gun range. This box call is made from wood found in the Hatchie Forest. Authentic tones are easily created when the thin lid is scraped across the top of the box. Hall of Famer Honored Robert Clift of Boulevard was inducted into the Tennessee Turkey Hunters Hall of Fame on January 12th in Smyrna. He is shown here with a plaque presented at the Hatchie Long Beards chapter of the National Wild Turkey Federation Banquet. On February 9th, along with one of his box callers registered as the last call, Clift is an avid wild turkey lover, enthusiast, hunter, and box call maker. Quote, I never dreamed of anything like this happening to me, unquote, said Cliff, after learning that he is being selected for the Hall of Fame. Making box collars is his specialty. He was presented with the plaque by Joe Larkin from the Mid-South Outdoors TV show. The biggest challenge in sport hunting is calling up a wild turkey. It can be a humbling experience, said Cliff. Duck Decoy Handcrafted Drake Mallard Decoy circa 1930 showing wear from years of use. The same person that hunted over it must have likely carved this wooden decoy. Bobcat Lynx Rufus Taxidermic Sculpture on a Tree Branch 1998 this is a female taxidermic bobcat mounted onto a tree branch. The bobcat, or lynx rufus, is a type of feline native to North America and south of Canada. They are nocturnal animals known for their stealth while hunting, acute eyesight and hearing, and advanced sense of smell. It can be found across Tennessee. Their coats vary, but they are usually grayish brown in color with black streaks on the body and dark rings on the front legs and tail. They have sharply curved claws that can be retracted. Its spotted pattern gives the bobcat a natural camouflage perfect for hunting. An adult stands one to two feet tall at the shoulders. Adult males weigh between 14 to 40 pounds, while the females weigh between 8.8 .8 to 33.7 pounds. Bobcats are carnivorous and are able to survive long periods without food, but eats heavily when prey is abundant. They feed on small animals such as squirrels, birds, fish, and insects. It will also hunt deer during the winter when smaller species are scarce. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living wish to thank you for watching our videos on the Hatchie River Museum. We would also like to thank the staff at the museum for their helpful, pleasant, and knowledgeable employees. Be sure to drop by and say hello if you are ever on the Interstate 40 passing by Brownsville, Tennessee. We at Kentucky Tennessee Living wish to thank everyone for their continued support of our channel and watching our videos. Please like, subscribe, and leave us a hey y'all in the comments section below. And be sure to click the bell for notifications of our future videos. The more likes we receive, the more likely YouTube is to share our videos with other viewers. Once again, we thank you for coming with us as we take a look at the history of Kentucky and Tennessee and the Appalachian Mountains.